So here is the material we're going to cut. But before we get into it, here is the measurement we are going to use. This chest is going to be a total of the shoulder is 17.5. The chest is the chest is going to be a total of 40. The length is going to be 37. The sleeve length is going to be 8. That short sleeve and the long sleeve is going to be 22.5. And the arm circumference is going to be a total of 13.5. And the neck is going to be 16.5. So I will be putting that on the screen so that you guys can see what I'm about to do. So first, the very first thing you're going to do is to fold your clothes into two. This is a seven star ash fabric. It's one of the best fabric when it comes to like uh, making a suit or you're making a senator. This is quite expensive, but you're going to get a perfect, mm, I don't know how to tell you this, but uh, like a perfect outcome if you're using a good fabric for your outfit. So yeah, I already folded this the front side and this is the back side. So um, the very first thing you're going to do is you're going to divide your chest into four places. I already did this, but this is just an update to my previous video. I've gotten better than the previous video I make on how to cut senator. So you're going to divide the chest into four places, which is going to be uh, 40 divided by 4, which is going to give you a total of 10, right? So that's your 10. You're going to add an extra. That will be 10. I don't like writing on the fabric. That's why I mostly don't. That's your 10. You're going to add an extra 2.5 inches to that. I will tell you the reason why you have to add the 2.5 inches. The 2.5 inches is for the inseam allowance and also for the vent at the down part of the thread, at the down part of the senator. There's a vent there. I'm going to show you. So you're going to add an extra 2.5 inches to that, which will give us a total of 12.5 for your chest from here. I'm not going to cut this um, edge of the fabric. I'm, doing, I'm going to cut it out, so I'm not taking my measurement from there. It's from at the back of the edge here to this place which will give me a total of 12 12.5 inches so that is it so the next thing i'm going to do now is to take my length measurement so from the up here i'm going to measure my 30 37 for the length i'm just going to take the exact 37 inches for the length so you're just going to chalk it at that damn part Just at this side, you see that. So I'm just going to chop my 37. You can see? Here. So that is for the length. You can see that. So I'm going to mark this out. I'm going to cut it out. This is for the front side. Don't, don't forget, this is for the front. You can see this is what we have and this is what the front is going to look like you can see the fabric so in case you want to get this fabric you can just send me a message if you have my telegram account or you have I'll put a link in the description below to my telegram number to my telegram account so I can help you to order it and send it to you so also the next thing we're going to take now is the back so you just fold your clothes just like this you are going to take exactly the same measurement which is going to be, to be 12.5 you are going to give it the total ironing so that it's going to lay flat before you cut it out so as you can see you are going to fold your back just like this so I already fold it and already measure my chest measurement which is going to be a total of 12.5 don't forget that 12.5 
12.5 which is for the chest so the next thing you're going to do now remember on our length measurement we measured 37 right so on that length measurement i'm going to add an extra four inches to that for the overlap and for the fold on the down for the shoulder overlap so here i'm going to add an extra four inches to that that's 37 plus four which will give us a total of 41 41 so i'm going to take my 41 length measurement here so let me take the camera a little bit to this side so you can see okay so right here Please take my 41 measurement. Mark my 41 here. Mark my 41 here also. You see that? So I'm going to jump this. So as you can see, we have an extra 4 inches longer than the front that we cut before. Don't forget, we have an extra 4 inches longer than the front we cut before. So now I'm going to cut this out. So here, this is what our borders look like. You can see that. This is what our borders look like. Simple as that. So now I'm going to place the front on it. So just a quick recap so that you guys can get. I this is our front. We call the chest. The chest is 40 divided by 4, which is 10, plus extra 2.5 inches, which make it a total of 12.5 inches. And we cut our length, exactly the length measurement, which is 40, which is uh, 37. And on the back, we add an extra 4 inches to the length, which is the back here. That's why it is longer than the front. can see that so if you take a closer look at this side you can see that the back is longer than the front right you can see that so let me come back here so the next thing we are going to do now is to slant our shoulder so on this shoulder to avoid all the wrinkling I've made a video about that before I'm going to stand this shoulder by 3.5 inches 3.5 inches shoulder slant. If you're sewing for an adult, don't forget, if you're sewing for an adult, this is what you're going to be using. 3.5 inches for the shoulder slant. This is universal. Okay? 3.5 inches maximum. Actually, maximum. You can go for 3 inches depending. But this is universal. I'm going to stand by 3.5 inches. So, this is what the front, this is what the shoulder is going to look like. So, the next thing you're going to do now is you're going to move this your back side. You can see this back side, you're going to move it exactly to this point. You can see that. You're going to move it exactly to this point. So, when it comes up again, just here. So this is what our so now you can see that the the back part has actually come come up. So the next thing you're going to do now is to fold it over. Fold it over. You're going to fold it over by half of an inch. Half of an inch totally. You're going to fold it over by half of an inch, then you're going to iron it and make sure it is balanced. So after you make sure this has actually overlapped this by one and one, uh, half inch, half of an inch, after this has overlapped by half of an inch, let me zoom closer because now we have to cut out our shoulder and our leg line so you guys can see exactly what I'm about to do. 
okay let me focus this very well okay, so you can see this now the next thing we are going to do is i'm going to measure my shoulder right on this measurement book i told you guys that the shoulder is 17.5 right here 17.5 so that our 17.5, right, we are going to divide it by 2, which will be 17.5, right? So we are going to divide it by 2. Let's fold it overlap like that. See this? And right here is our 17.5. So if you are to measure the 17.5, it's going to be here. You get that so we are going to add an extra half of an inch for the inseam allowance you know when you're connecting your sleeve to your bodice so that you're not going to reduce half out of the out of the measurements there so we connect half of an inch to that you guys can see that so that's it so in order to take out your shoulder arm hole measurements the basic formula that i usually use is very simple I usually use my <clears throat> shoulder measurement mostly divided by my shoulder measurement divided by two plus one inches or exactly depending on how convenient the person wants the outfit to look like but if the person wants the outfit to be smart I use exactly the shoulder measurement which is a total of nine that's um, your shoulder divided by two, which will give you a total of. Here I have nine inches. That's seventeen point five. Let's do that again. Sorry. <laughs> Let's just do that again. Okay. Okay. That's eight three quarter. You can see that eight three quarter. So that's what I'll be marking right here. Eight three quarter. Because the person wants the clue to be fitted and firm. So that's what we have from here to here. The next thing I'm going to do is to curve out the arm hole. I use a wooden arm hole curve. So if you, if you have an arm hole curve, you can basically use this. But if you don't, let me use a free hand cut so that you guys can follow me. Because I will assume that you don't have this. So let me use a free hand curve so you can see what I'm going to do. I just want this place to be straightened up. That's why I'm making a line at that place. Just to give it a shape like that. So the next thing you're going to do now is to curve. Make a curve right here. See what the curve looks like, right? It's very simple. So another one, you're going to take an extra half of an inch. <laughs> See how just go out. Just half of an inch like this. I'm going to take it out one. You can see that. Down to this part. You see what I just did? It's very simple. So even if you place your arm oak off right on it, you're going to have exactly the same thing. Okay, let me just move it down a little bit. You're going to have exactly the same curve. You see that? Did you see what I just did right now? That's just a basic formula of how they even get this arm oak off. You see that? So we have exactly the same thing. So here is the technique that I want you to pay closer attention to. So to cut out this, you can see, I'm going to cut them out together. But firstly, I'm going to cut this first line. You can see that. Okay, so you guys can see that. Let's cut out this first line. You see? So the next thing you're going to cut now is in the front, this front part. You're going to cut it out together with this one. You see that? So I'm going to put my scissors from under here. And I'm going to cut. You can see. Okay, see what we have so far. So when you zoom in closely, when you zoom in closely, you can see that this side is inside and this side is a little bit outside. That's because of the curve in between our shoulder to 
our shoulder to our hand. But at the back, we only have a backbone that is straight. That's why this piece doesn't have to be that deepened. So that is it. So the next thing we're going to cut now is the neck. So my window is kind of like reflecting quite a lot of sun. So I had to like reduce the brightness a little bit. So after cutting out the arm, the next thing we are going to cut now will be the neckline. There are formulas that you can use in calculating your neckline, but what I usually use is just a basic number. And if you have this understanding, you will not even need to use a formula for that. So let me zoom in closer again so that you can see. As I told you guys before that the neckline is 16.5 uh, for the circumference. So this is what I usually use. I use 2.5 inches for the breadth and I use 4 inches for the height. That's from the, the neck down to your chest and from the neck down to your shoulder. So now what I usually do is simple because I want to get the accurate measurement. I will just cuff it together inside as we go. I'll just cover it together and I'm going to the reason why I don't use that there's a formula actually and I can tell you but the reason why I don't use that formula is after I make my piping after I pipe my neck or I turn it over I usually get a fault there so I had to create a my own kind of way that I, I do it and this has nothing with me so here I have return it just like this you're going to see that we have 16 right you're going to measure it round. Let me do that again. Just from here, I'm going to measure it like this, like this, like this, like this, like this. I'm going to turn. Okay. So here we have almost, almost. Uh, this is 7.5. This is 15. So I'm going to add an extra half of an inch to this down part. Okay. okay, you can see that. So now I'm going to measure the second one. You can see. So you can see, this is a little bit more than 16 inches. You can see that. But we're going to 16.5, right? We should be here. But as of this one, I want it to get to this point, which is 16.5 and... Uh, Okay, 16 here, it should be here, which is 6, that's 8 3 quarter. But because of the sewing that we're going to sew inside, the neck pipe is going to take an extra quarter of an inch after you pipe the neck. Don't forget that. So I want it to get to this 8.5 inches. So what I do again is I just add a little bit down there. So when I take the measurements now, so now the total here is going to be 4.5, you can see that 4.5 by 3 inches, okay? You can see that. So you are going to measure it again. Okay, so you can see what we have, 8.5. See the total of what we have. So the next thing now is just to cut it out. So don't forget, you're going to place your scissors from under here so this is what we have so far and I'm going to like trim out this side Let me zoom backward so you guys can see. This is what the neck is going to look like. It's a very simple strategy that I feel like it's going to help you guys. So the next thing we're going to do now is, at this side, let's take a closer look at this. Make sure your border is, is balanced. And here, I'm going to take in my actual measurement. And here for the vent side, okay, I just took the exact 12 inches for the border is measurement 
which I'll be taking in two inches for the inseam allowance. So here, okay, here I'm just going to, to take out 11 inches and I'll be taking 1.5 inches for the inseam allowance. So I'm going to pull this part out. So I'm going to do exactly the same thing here 11.5 inches. You can see that. I'm going to drop it together. You see that? It's just going to be straight. Some people like it to be curved, maybe a little bit fitted. You can use your waist measurement around here. That is if you're doing that. But on this one, I'm not doing that. I just want a straight side. And from here, I'll be taking my vent measurement. I'll be folding this clothes at a total of two inches. I'll be folding two inches at the M right here. At the M, I'll be folding in two inches. So out, after I fold in that two inches, I want it to, I want to have like a vent of eight inches right here. You see that? So now I'm going to cut this place out. Did you see that? So this is what we have on cutting out our senator. It's as simple as A, B, and C. Just follow this step by step. You're going to get exactly the results you want. It's very simple. So now I will be cutting out the sleeve. Okay, before we cut out the sleeve, I want you to put something in mind, okay, which is this. Let's measure this round, the arm O circumference. Just measure the back side one at the back okay so here we have 11 inches we have 11 inches for our hand foam circumference that's all you need okay so in this thing now let's cut out the sleeve so to cut out my sleeve i'll be using a short sleeve on this one it's a 80 8 inches uh, short sleeve so here to get out the formula to fold your short sleeve you can see i already fold this in the this in double this is the front side of the fabric and already fold it in double so to get your uh, calculation to fold this the very first thing you're going to do is the arm hole that we measured before the arm hole that we, arm hole curve that we measured before is 11 inches right so here we are going to subtract 1.5 this is the formula i usually use 11 inches minus 1.5 which will give me a total of 9.5 so this fabric is folded at 9.5 inches you can see that so now to cut out my sleeve i'm going to measure it the sleeve is going to have a pipe a turn up at the edge so i'm going to have a i'm going to add an extra one inches to that for the insulin allowance so eight right for the sleeve length which will be nine here also I'm going to mark the same 9 inches for the sleeve length. So here, the sleeve curve is going to be a total of, I'm going to curve it at 6 inches. The depth of the curve is going to be at 6 inches. So the next thing you're going to do is just to make your curve just like this. These 6 inches actually depend. There are formulas you can use for that, but I usually use six is the maximum that i will use basically because i want it to be key in to key in between the sleeve and the end and i want it to be uh to be fitted that's why i go for six inches uh six inches sorry i keep making mistake inch and inches six inches so sometimes i go for five inches depending on the style you want but this i'm going to show you the style after i'm done with this so six inches I'm going to go this side and the arm circumference is 13.5. That will be 13.5 divided by 2. That's 6 3 quarter. I'm going to add an extra 1 inches to that. So here. That's what we have. You see that? So I'm going to cut this out. I'm going to have a turn up at this edge 
so don't forget I'm going to cut this out. So that's what we have for our sleeve. We're going to make a notch here. Designing. See? So, so far that's what we have on the sleeve. The next thing we are going to cut now is the facing. Just a very simple design for the facing. And we are going to get to the sewing of the outfit. Step by step, as always. So if you like this, okay, so cutting out the facing, so the very first thing I did is this, you can see, here is my back, and the facing, the design of the facing I'm cutting on this one is a little bit different, so I want you guys to pay attention, okay, so the facing is going to have a depth of, from here, it's going to have a depth of 7 inches, you guys can see that, so I'll be folding half of an inch, so the total depth is 7.5 you can see that so i'm going to cut this out you can see that oh in case you don't know i already fold my facing into two I already pulled this into double. No, this is just not a single strip fabric. In case you miss that. So here, we need to cut this just straight. So this is what we're going to have here. So at the back, this is what I want my facing to look like. Just going to be a sharp. Let me measure what I'm about to do here. So that I won't go and do a fish. <laughs> so here, of my three inches, three point five inches, because I'll be pulling half of an inch. Three point five inches, we're pulling half of an inch. So from here to here, we're going to have seven inches. That will be what the facing will look like. It's a very simple design, and I'm going to show you what the design looks like right now on the screen. It's just a simple design, but it's quite different from the normal one you see. Or number one that you usually see. I'm just going to hold it together. See that? It's like a square design at the back of your clothes. So this is what the facing is going to look like. But it's not going to reach your arm or all this kind of a thing. It's just going to be a box at your back with triple stitch or just two stitch. That's what the facing is going to look like. So that's what we have on the facing. So the next thing now is just to couple it together and I'll be showing you guys how to fix the plaquette. The plaquette is also a very simple design that you're going to love. So that is it on this video. And I will see you in the sewing class. I will see you doing the sewing aspect. Alright.